Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back. So I know you've seen the title and the thumbnail, and those of you who have been around for a while will understand why I'm so excited for this video and why this is such a momentous occasion for me, because I finally have the Haunt Couture Cleo Denial doll. And I'm so excited. I cried when I got this box in the mail, so like I might be very emotional today. Um, if you don't know the reason why I'm so thrilled for this, basically I tried to get her, was unable to get her when she first released because the Mattel Creations website is an absolute nightmare. And I literally could not stop thinking about her. I really tried to put her out of my mind and to just accept that this was a doll that I wasn't going to have. And sometimes I can do that and sometimes I can't. <laughs> And Cleo was one that literally has just stuck with me since she came out. She's never left my mind. I routinely have gone online to try to find good deals on her. And I feel like at that point, I could justify buying her secondhand for a more expensive price point only because I knew that it wasn't like a flight of fancy for me. It wasn't just like a random whim. This is money that I spent because it's been months now that I keep looking and keep thinking about this doll. So I obviously have very strong feelings towards her. Um, and that's not like to judge any of you guys if you have bought a doll like on a whim that was very expensive. That's just like a personal boundary for me in my collection is that I didn't want to spend that much money. I think she was like $100 because internet reselling, super fun. Um, it's actually not as bad as it could have been, so that's cool. But yeah, that's just like my personal boundary is that I didn't want to spend that amount of money on a doll that I didn't feel really, really strongly towards. And so at the very least, having to wait for her did prove that I felt that strongly about her. And now she's finally here and I'm just, I'm so excited. Okay, so obviously I know this is like kind of a dumb video in the sense that it's not new, it's not anything um, you guys haven't been able to see before. But I wanted to post about it because I'm really excited, okay? <laughs> so the box obviously is beautiful. Like this kind of leathery material is super, super pleasing to touch. All of the prints all the way around it are gorgeous. But of course, the exciting part is what lies within. And that is Miss Cleo. So we have like the uh, certificate of authenticity. I'll show you that closer later. But here she is in the box. I can't look at her or I'm gonna cry again. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Um, those of you, again, who have been here, you know I'm an out-of-box collector. This is an absolutely beautiful box. So I am going to try to like salvage it so that I can kind of display her standing in the box. Um, I'm not gonna just get rid of it. I'm so excited though. She's actually been sitting in my room for like a week now waiting to be unboxed because I just had other videos that I already had planned that I needed to get out. So she's been taunting me and I've been very emotional and very excited. So I am going to go ahead and unbox her off screen really quick. It might take me a little longer than usual. It won't matter for you guys, but I have to be super, super careful. Um, but yeah, I will be right back with you guys to talk about what all she comes with. Again, I know it's not anything new, but hopefully you guys will enjoy this journey with me. If you do, if you could give it a like, that'd be awesome. And if you're new here, welcome, maybe subscribe if you like what you see. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. And then I will be right back with you guys and we can just dive into this very emotional, very exciting video together. I will see you in a second. Okay guys, so I managed to get her unboxed and I didn't even cry, although I think that most of that was because I was focusing so hard on not messing this up, which you can see. I feel like I didn't, so that's very exciting. I can display her how I actually want to display her. But yeah, let's get into it. So she does come, like I said, with the certificate of authenticity. And then this is just talking a bit about her style. And then she also has her diary. I'm not gonna like read it out here because that would be a lot of reading for me to do and probably very boring for you guys. But very excited to see that. The diary especially is like super nostalgic to me for the like Gen 1 Monster High Diaries. That's really cool to see again. And of course the Certificate of Authenticity is also pretty cool. But then she does come on her stand. Moment of appreciation for the stand. I'll show you a little bit later. But I love the clear because you know, it kind of blends in a little bit better. And then the gold bottom beautiful and then a gold monster high brush and then she has her bag and with the bag i need to kind of preface this i guess with the fact that i knew these weren't worth the 75 dollars they were originally priced at i know that realistically she definitely was not worth the hundred dollars that i paid for her i only got her because she clearly has a lot of personal value to me um, but I wanted to say that in advance because in unboxing this bag, I kind of realized that we were going to have some quality to talk about and I was going to have some opinions. So really cute design, 
I love this. It's so pretty. I love the colors. It does open, which we love to see. It has fabric straps, but like the wings aren't even gold on the back. And I'm just like, for a $75 doll, y'all could have made sure that this back part was also gold. I know that that probably sounds really petty, but it really is just because of the price point and the exclusivity with these dolls. Like it's not as though they released tons and tons and tons of them. They weren't a limited number. Like it's not like her box says, you know, 500 of 5,000 or whatever, but they obviously were fairly limited because a lot of people couldn't get them. I know a lot of scalpers got them, but you know what I mean. Like, they are a collector's doll. They are somewhat limited in their release. They could have put gold backing on here. <laughs> that isn't to say that I don't think that this is cool. None of the negative things that I am going to say are to say that this isn't a lovely doll or that I regret buying her. It's just to really exemplify how Mattel is not doing it for their collector dolls um so yeah let me go ahead and show you the bottom of her stand really quick i want to be so careful getting her out because i'm like afraid to rip anything you know she was expensive like i'm afraid with a normal doll but for her oh my gosh bottom super pretty i love the gold but obviously cleo is the main draw here now i have never cared about tinsel obviously looking at her like if you don't like tinsel you know that that's going to be a problem. I love it. I think it's so fun. It's so sparkly. The particular kind of tinsel that they used, I think just looks so beautiful because it kind of looks like she has just strands of gold beads in her hair. It's so stunning. <laughs> I love it so much. It's so pretty. The rooting on her is really quite thick, which is good because like, Again, she was very expensive. I feel like you could afford to root your doll well. But the rooting is solid, which we love to see. This headdress is so pretty. Gosh, just the metallic, the colors. It's so, so good. Oh my gosh. Her face. Okay, this is where we start to get a few problems. Um, mine, thankfully, doesn't look super misprinted. I love this style of face that they introduced with Honka Tour. I think it's really, really beautiful. Cleo looks just impeccable as always. The makeup style is very pretty. I love the way that they did her lips, but I feel like it's not terrible here. The eyelashes are, I think, rooted inequally. So I think this side has a lot more than this side and they're also different angles. So like when I do this, hopefully you can kind of see these are sticking like straight up and these are more off to the side i know it's super small and again i'm not trying to be picky for the sake of being picky i'm being picky because this is like a collector's doll who you wouldn't expect to have like many errors because of the price and exclusivity so you know it's just it's just a little unfortunate i really am not trying to hark on her but i just feel like i have to be a little harder on a collector level doll if that makes sense uh, earrings super super cute though and then we get down to her clothing she has this beautiful shawl oh my god it's just so stunning the colors again perfect for her I love that she has a lot of gold for this outfit but a lot of the kind of blue and teal is in this shawl with the glitter the glitter does get everywhere um it's not as bad as some other dolls that I've had but it does still rub off. So, you know, that's a thing. Not that I don't know why I'm saying that as though it's something that I need to warn you guys of. Like you're gonna go out and buy her on the shelf. Like, I, I don't know why, but it's just a habit, I guess. I do like that her choker here is tied on with more straps of this kind of like bandage shape. I like that a lot because it's not just Velcro. It is like two straps tied on. It's just a cute detail. The shirt is so cool. I do wish that the ribbon went all the way back like the bottom does again very small but like expensive okay you know it's just a little bit it's like an inch more <laughs> i'm so mean i feel like this is such like a mean review for a doll that i'm so excited for but i can hold those two feelings at once i do love this fabric it's so soft the texture is absolutely perfect for like a mummy wrap texture it is beautiful the ribbon on her bottoms too is super nice and she has like is that like a pocket or is that just a fold? Hold on. It's just a fold. Bye bad. And then this little belt. I actually really like that it sits quite low. Like, I don't know if it's supposed to be more up, but I kind of like it. I kind of like it low. It's fun. It's different. The colors are really pretty. And then it does have a little like clasp in the back. So you could take it off of her. More detail on the pants. 
zipper, very cute. We've got like little studs down here with more kind of trailing bandage pieces. And then obviously she does have her phone clip thingy. Um, I know that this is a nod to the original Cleo, so like I do get it. I don't necessarily know if it's my favorite thing, especially because it only fits here. Like I cannot get it up any further. It doesn't fit any further up her leg. And I feel like by the knee, it's just a really weird place to be carrying your phone. <laughs> I don't have the original Cleo, so I don't know if the original one was like that. I don't know. That one just feels like a little bit weird to me. I think that overall the appearance of that particular accessory does cheapen her look. Like I'm going to go ahead and take it off real quick. Oh gosh, taking it off is so scary. I don't want to break anything. Okay. Okay. I got it. <laughs> so the phone is rubber banded in just because I want to keep it secure. I don't want to lose the pieces. It's fine. Like I'm not trying to be complaining. I am so sorry, but I feel like she looks 10 times better without it. Like I just feel like she looks better with it unhindering her appearance. Then her shoes, y'all, oh my gosh. The gold on these scarab beetles is so beautiful. Again, like I just love the color scheme they picked for this doll. I think it is really magnificent. The sculpting is so pretty with the little bandage details all around tied into little bows there. The painting on the studs is really, really lovely. She's insanely beautiful. So that's why I keep saying, like, I'm not trying to point out all of her flaws to be mean or to, like, say that I regret this. I'm so happy to have this doll in my collection. Now I'm getting emotional. Oh, my God. I have wanted her for so long. Like I said, it wasn't just a flight of fancy for me. And again, it's fine if you buy a doll in a flight of fancy. I'm not here to judge you for that. Just for me, it means a lot that this has been a doll that I have been wanting and consistently been wanting and now she's finally here and I can finally touch her and like hold her in my hands it it just means so much to me so I'm not even upset about her flaws in the sense that like I'm upset for me I'm more just upset that as a company Mattel is willing to put out something for $75 that realistically speaking it's not terrible quality. Like, it's not that bad. If this had been a $30 doll, I wouldn't be complaining really about the back. I would point it out so people know, but I wouldn't be complaining about it. To me, this level of quality is pretty much exactly what you get from a good Rainbow High doll at the Playline level. Obviously, the box is, like, very pretty. Like, I get that's a very pretty box. But I'm just saying, like, you can get comparable quality from other doll brands, for very, very cheap. Even the G3 Monster High dolls, now that I can physically hold this Haunt Couture Cleo in my hands and compare it to a G3 doll, she feels a little bit more high quality. Like, I do think that the fabrics, especially this gold fabric, this is definitely much higher quality than a lot of, like, the dresses in G3, but not enough to justify, like, the $40 to $50 price difference, if that makes sense. So, again... I am beyond thrilled to have her. Like, I, I keep looking at her and I'm kind of getting distracted because I'm just, I literally could cry right now. I'm so happy to have her in my collection. I'm so disappointed that Mattel thinks that their fan base is only worth this much quality, though. Like, the design is beautiful. And a lot of the pieces, again, like, I, this fabric especially is probably my favorite piece in terms of quality. I just think it's it feels so lovely. So I'm not trying to say everything is bad, but it does make me sad that like for their adult collectors who have stood with them for years, not all of us, but you know, a lot of us have been fans of Monster High since we were younger and that's why we are now adult fans. And it makes me sad that people who have literally stood by your brand for years, even when you weren't actively making things, um, are only worth like this much like they're not even worth putting a gold backing on here or, or they're not even worth a little bit of extra ribbon you know what I mean um I don't know this has been a weird video <laughs> sorry guys I feel like y'all expected me to be like super super positive in this one I feel like y'all were expecting this to just be a sunshine and rainbows kind of video so I'm sorry because obviously if you knew I was excited for this doll you would think that and I am I really cannot reiterate that enough I'm so happy on a personal level 
Um, but it's not fair of me to talk about the good things about the stall and not mention the bad because I want to be candid with you guys. I want to share my honest thoughts with you guys. And my honest thoughts are complicated, but overall, I am really overjoyed to have her. Um, I think that primarily the Mattel Creations website needs to be easier for people to access because I do think that some of my negativity is coming from like the pent up disappointment about the way that they have handled their releases. But you know, for now it is what it is. Um, thrilled with her though. I cannot believe my hand is here. I can't believe I can hold her. I'm having a good day, y'all. I know this doesn't sound like it necessarily, but I'm having a good day. So I hope you are too. I hope that you could enjoy this video, even if it was maybe a little bit of a weird one. Um, do let me know your thoughts on Cleo and Honkator and the Monster High Collectors in general. It's like a whole big topic. I would love to hear all of your thoughts in the comments down below, but I do hope you have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.